Right, right, we're going point. back to what we usually do. We're going to start this half uh, with <laughs> interview switch. Uh, we will start with David and Kieran, please, in these seats. Uh, what's going to happen is... Dave will be interviewing Kieran on an area of expertise that she will ask you for in just a moment. And when I judge that they have said something sufficiently mm. funny, uh, I will shout switch, at which point Kieran will get up, come to the back of the queue, Dave will move over a seat to become the interviewee, somebody new will come in to interview Dave, and we'll go around until everybody's had a go, do you understand? Yes. Hello, yes. Dave. Kieran. Please, can I have an area of expertise? Aubergines. Aubergines. Hello and welcome to Obscure Vegetables and What Are They For? <laughs> Karen, I understand you're uh, popularising the aubergine right now. That's right, I am. Yes? I feel it's important that every, every woman should have one of these in her garden. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Can I have an <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Hair products. <laughs> Hello, good evening, and welcome to another episode of Snip, 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 Snip. I'm joined by one of the world-renowned experts in hair products, Dr. Head & Shoulders. Now, Doctor, <laughs> yes. it says in your autobiography, right at the start, that you got into this as a small girl. Is that true? <laughs> yes. Yeah, to enlighten me on this. Well, I, I just discovered the world of hair, and uh, I, I stuck it everywhere. Yes? <laughs> That's right. I was going for a visual worth it pun, never mind. I've been told about puns, yes. So I have been told about puns, yes. Uh, can I have an area of expertise, please? Poor Oste facial hair. Paul, go on, go for it. Go on, shout things out. Osteoarchaeology. And what was the other one? Poor facial hair. Merch. Oh, oh, merch. Oh. Do you want the burn or the one you don't know? <laughs> can I have the um, the poor facial hair of osteopathology? Archaeology. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to digging up old beards. <laughs> Tonight, you will be very pleased that we have, indeed, the expert on the bad beards of archaeologies, Dr. Moustache. Tell me, Dr. Moustache, when did this begin? Well, it was probably in the late Jurassic period. Uh, Stegosaurus, famous for poor facial hair, being a giant lizard. Um, uh, but a Tyrannosaurus is Latin for king. And uh, that is somehow directly linked to having an awful, awful goatee. <laughs> it does seem to, uh, to fit all the research that I have done. Um, you've done much more research, haven't you? How many papers have you read? At least two. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have an area of expertise, please? Polyps. 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 Good evening and welcome to... Ooh. <laughs> I'm joined by Alan. Now, Alan, you're an expert in polyps, isn't that correct? Yeah. No. Uh, perhaps you could tell us, because obviously you got into this at a very young age, perhaps you could uh, tell us what first aroused your interest. My dad. <laughs> I regret my wording of the question. Yeah. Covered head to toe. In polyps? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, horrible. Yes. Yeah, never hugged him. No? No, that's what drove me to research, you know, the looking for the love that I never had. Oh. Swish! Swish! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's heart in these yeah. as well. There's heart in these. Those sides the masks. Those sides the What a weird energy the gig has now. Uh, <laughs> it's all that jazz they had. Yeah. Uh, can I have the final area of expertise, please? Toenails. Toenails it is. Welcome to Big Clippers, the <laughs> program about uh, keeping our toes nice and neat. I mean, we have here uh, do Dr. Dr. Foot. Interesting name there, Dr. Foot. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got into clippings? Uh, yeah, well, basically, I kept growing out of my shoes. <laughs> Switch! <laughs> 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 